born 26 of September 1967. He's a Nigerian Biafran political activist who is also a Biafran citizen. He is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Kanopan IPOP in 2014. The main aim of IPOP is to create an independent state of the people of Old Eastern region of Nigeria through an independent referendum. The plan, however, is not new. In 1967, Eastern Nigerian leaders sum summoned the proposal that declared a Biafra state, which brought Jugu Emeka Odumuebo and Philip Epion as a Biafra leaders on May 31st, 1969. This was after the counter coup of July 29, 1967, and the anti-Ibu pogrom in northern Nigeria in the eastern in the same year, which resulted to the king of the people of the region. It was after a brutal war, civil war, known as the Nigerian Biafra War. And lasted for three years, which led the death of some three million people. The war ended as Biafra surrendered to the Federal Force in 1970, and the war was declared no internal ambush. Carrie is the director of a UK based radio station named Radio Biafra. Carrie was arrested on treason charges in Lagos. Nigeria on 14 October 2015 and was returned for more than a year. This is why various court orders that he ruled for his release. When in court, Kano appeared regularly wearing a Jewish prayer shoe and head, head cover. He said in court that he believed in Judaism and considered himself a Jew and often time has led his Biafra people to period Jewish prayer and religious observations. On May, on April rather, 28, 2007, Kano was released from prison on bail. Nani Kano was also arrested again in June 2021. Precisely June 27, April in, in UK. Where he was staying with a wife, Ukochi Uku Kano. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abubakar Manami San, who made the disclosure to journalists on Tuesday, disclosed that Kano was arrested and brought back to Nigeria on Sunday, June 27, 2021, through a joint effort of security agencies in Nigeria and the Interpol. He said the arrest followed a collaborative effort between security agencies in Nigeria and the Interpol. Manami further disclosed that Kano will be taken before the Federal High Court in Abuja for continuation of trial on charges burden on terrorism, reasonable finance, on lawful possession of firearms and management of an unlawful society. One Nkanyi Nand Ukujuku Kano was a graduate of University of Nigeria. He studied political economics and is known for political activism, free movement of the Biafran people. He is a radio broadcaster. With, by the virtue of his position, and he married to Uchechi Uku Kano. Kano was born in Isiama Afaruku, Umaya, Ibra State, the Federal, Repu Federal Republic of Nigeria. His father is a is a Israel Uku Kano JP. And his mother, Ugeze Nenakano, 
He attended Library Avenue Primary School and went to Government College, Omaha, for his secondary education. He studied at the University of Nigeria, Osaka, and moved to the UK before graduating. Kanu began his activi activism for the freedom of Biafra as a radio director and anchor of Biafra awareness under Ralph Wadrike, leader of the movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra. Masob, who said while in a meeting in Kaduna Kano on June 12, 2014, was handed over Radio Biafra uh, as a leader. Well, Kano disappointed, now according to what Rikki, Kano disappointed him. Radio Biafra, however, was established by the defunct Biafra movement in 1969 with the aim of championing the Biafra cause. Kano was a relatively obscured fig figure beyond the 2000 Nine, when he started Radio Biafra, a station that called for an independence of the Igbo people and broadcast to Nigeria from London. In 2015, he founded IPO on 5th September 2015. Nam was a guest speaker at the World Igbo Congress, which was held in Los Angeles. Where he told his audience, we need guns and we need bullets. In the interview in June 2007, Kano explained his comment, saying that he demanded for bullets and guns from a group of US based Nigerians for self defense against the incessant attacks on Igbos by the Nani Hess terrorists, which we are currently recording in Piafra Island. Kano Bonas strategy has been in application for civil disobedience in person whom his demand for freedom of his, his people. In various air broadcasts, Nami Kalu stated how his adoption of Martin Luther King Jr. and Mahata form of civil disobedience will lead to restoration of Biafra. In the interview related to Newsweek, Nandri Kanu opted his belief in the teaching of Martin Luther, who says, I hope that what we are looking for can be accomplished specifically. I am an advocate of passive resistance, said by Martin Luther Jr. Prior to 2019 presidential election, Nam Dekalu has threatened to boycott the election. According to leader of IPOB, Nam Dekalu, the node IPOB member should participate in the election in order to pursue his actualization of Biafra. In December 2020, Nandu Kano announced the formation of the Eastern Security Network, a regional security force for the South East. East. Kano later gave all the governors of South East Nigeria 14 days to pan open grazing, threatening to deploy the ESM to enforce the pan if the authorities did not do so. The Nigerian government responded to the formation of the ESM led to the crisis in the following which started with long military competition in which the Eastern Security Network threw back an initial Nigerian army offenses, prompting the deployment of reinforcement before another op offensive occurrence was launched. Kano ordered the e ESN, the Eastern Security Network, to withdraw to the bush, temporarily ending the confrontation. The Nigerian Army and Air Force renewed hostility on February 18th by launching a military offense against the ESN. The next day, IPOP declared that on 18th February 
exist of war had is existed between them and the Nigerian monetary. On May, sorry, on October rather, October 18th, 2005, it was reported that Kano had been arrested in Lagos by Nigerian security, by Nigerian security police known as GSS. Kano had told his solicitor that on 14th October 2005, he was arrested by the agent of the Nigerian government, which is the, the State Security Services SSS, in his hotel room at Golden Tunup, Golden Tunup Essential Hotel, Ikeja, Lagos. The solicitors in a press briefing said between 14th and 17th October 2005, their clients were about were unknown until 18th October 2015 when the press media broke the news of his arrest and detention by the SSS in Abuja. The news of the arrest of Kanu directed protests across the town. Enugu State, River State, Cross River State, Iber State, Imo State, Akwaibom State, Bayasa, and Anambra State. On 19 October 2015, it was reported that Namdekano had been granted bail after a secret arraignment at Magistrate Court Wose 11. However, the bear seemed controversial and we claimed that DSS announced the Bear only to calm the angry people of Biafra. Then, Kano was taken to a magistrate's court in Abuja on 18th November 2015, ordering the DSS to, pro to produce him from by the federal government. However, it was reported that the DSS Department of State Security Service obtained a secret court order to detain him more. Colonel Lawyer Vincent Obata in an interview said while in court the prosecutor gave him a document obtaining an order permitting the Department of State Security Services to detain Khan for the next three months. To conclude what they said was an investigation of terrorism and terrorism financing. Kano was finally arraigned on 23 November 2015 in an Abuja Magistrate Court for the first time for charge of criminal conspiracy, intimidation, and membership of an illegal organization by Nigeria Department of State Services DSS. The charge by session. 97, 97B, and 397 of Nigerian Panic Code. Chief Magistrate S. Osman had at the last adjournment created the Department of State Service DSS over its failure to produce car in court on the two consecutive times. The matter came on before the court. Kano supporters stormed Nigeria capital city of Abuja in luxury buses on a peaceful protest for their leader who was arraigned by the federal government before the Wosezun to Magistrate Court Abuja on 23rd November 2015. Two Biafra protesters with black hats sang and danced outside the court premises while they carried proceeded. Those are wore t shirts and caps with inscription like We are for now or never. But it is kind of for us. On Biafra we stand. More protests by Apple member number on over 15,000 regular movements in the Eastern Economic City of. Also observed in that particular day. It was the same with almost 20 protesters in Alpha Adelaide on the same day. Kano, through his counsel, filed an application 
asking the federal authority to transfer him from the custody of the Department of Security Service DSS to prison. His lawyer, Obata, insisted that transferring his client to prison would enable him to have easy access to the legal team. On October 20, 20th, Hangar announced that Kano had been released on bail. However, media source supporting the objective of Kano called the bail controversial and claimed that DSS announced the bail only to calm the situation. Kano disappeared from public view after his, his home was raided by the Nigerian military in September 2017, an event which led to the date of 20, 28 IPOP members not being seen in, pu- in public for over a year. There was wide-ranging speculation regarding his whereabouts, with members of the IPOP accusing the party government of having adopted, having adopted him. However, in October 2018, on attributed photograph and video apparently placing him in Israel were widely circulated on social media and this was later confirmed by the mainstream media. On June 27, 2021, Khan was arrested in Nigeria. Please, this is a new channel. I'm encouraging you to subscribe to get new updates about what is happening with Namd Khan and IPOP people and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We will keep you updated on whatever that is happening. Try and make sure you subscribe to encourage us to do more. And please make put your comment on the comment section so that we will be able to react and as other people will be able to react. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Thank you.